Welcome back to another update in my attempt to play Fallout 3 as a pacifist. It's been a very long time since the last update, and I've been playing a little bit off camera. Um, I've. Um, I think the last you saw, last I recorded, was. Um, me struggling with those Maya, lo Maya lurks down at uh, Rivet City. Uh, you also saw me um, helping out Moira in her uh, attempt to put together a Wasteland survival guide. And I've been doing a little bit of uh, off-camera play since then. Uh, for one thing, I uh, sneaked into the National Archives and uh, got hold of the Declaration of Independence there and sold it for money to someone in a museum down at Rivet City. Um, I've... Yeah, I also uh, found some Lady Ranger who was in trouble and tried to make sure she got medical uh, attention. I'm still very much uh, a good guy, obviously. Um, those... Um, I mean, the stealing the Declaration of Independence didn't really feel like theft so much, because basically all that was guarding it was a ho whole host of robots and some mutants. It looks like I've killed a lot of creatures now, but I think most of... Uh, well, a lot of the ones I've killed since the last update, anyway, was... Uh, robots actually so long as I don't uh, you know sneak up to them and disable them um, uh, where are we robots disabled zero but I think that's only when you, if you sneak up to them and just flip a switch and disable them I, I had to put them full of holes to disable them <laughs> basically but I think my pacifists still think it's okay to uh, um, shut down some robots that are trying to kill you. I won't lie, I also, especially when trying to get the um, uh, Declaration of Independence, there, there were a bunch of mutants also in there, and I ended up teaming up with another bounty hunter called Sydney, who was really hell-bent on uh, opening firing on, on them, so sh she basically f forced a hand and, you know, forced conflict in there, so if I wanted to see her al alive out of it, I kind of had to help out and certainly disarm some of the mutants and then she would just blow into smithereens. I think I may have actually shot one or two of them as well just to yeah a few of them actually just to save her so yeah friendly Nick isn't quite happy with his decision to team up, team up with her but uh, <laughs> once it, it was done there was really anything you could uh, undo and I wasn't gonna just reload for the sake of that um, but still, zero people killed, and now I've gotten to the point uh, where I'm closing in on the end of the game. So actually, if you don't want to get the ending of the game spoiled, you should probably stop watching this series now. Uh, but um, we have gone to the Citadel of the Brotherhood of Steel, because you may recall from an earlier episode that uh, we met with uh, President Eden of the Enclave, and the Enclave now, now has... Uh, gotten hold of the God Innovation Creation kit and they're not going to use it for... They're not going to share the freely available clean water with everybody else. So the hope is that uh, these uh, Brothers of Steel can do something about it. I've got uh, Fox here with me again. Something troubling you, my friend? Oh, lots of things, but uh, let's go. And I shall follow... You do that as we go down to see what the Brother of Steel is, the is up to. The longer we sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the Pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gek, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. 
I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Mm, sort of. I did find the Gek. Excellent. With that, we hold the key to keeping the Enclave from controlling the Purifier. But there's a problem. Um, I don't have the Gek anymore. The Enclave took it. Then we must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. Any help you can give might save lives. Well... President Eden did want me to sabotage the whole project with some kind of virus to wipe out mutants. I see. And where is this virus now? Well... I trust you're not going to use it on anyone, so you, you you take it, rather than me carrying it around, maybe could get into really bad and wrong hands. Thank you. I'll see to it that it's disposed of properly Excellent. once the scribes have had time to analyze it. Perhaps we have underestimated the Enclave. Sarah may be right. An attack may be necessary now. Mm, really? If the Enclave has the Gek. There's nothing stopping them from starting the Purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The Pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean, Lee and I have solved the power problems, but... We've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild enough. Can you make it work? Honestly? I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. But... Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. The pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, you've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? Uh, well, so trying to tank out the damage, I'll keep sneaking as we've been doing so far. Um, the thing is, I already have a Reckon Armor, a piece of Reckon Armor, so maybe I should take the Power Armor? Sure thing. Hopefully, it'll give you a bit of an extra edge. Okay. So do you think you can hold it together for this? Huh? Oh. You're gonna attack now, aren't you? You know, I don't know, sir. I'm not sure about this. Listen, you'll be fine. You just stay behind whoever is in front of you and keep your head down. Okay, that I can We're do. We're burning daylight here. Are you ready to move out? I think I'll need a minute at least. Hurry it up. Every minute you take is one more that we can't afford to spend. Okay, but right now I can't run because I'm over encumbered. But importantly, I'm leveling up. Which means. I can max out speech, which will be important, I think, for this last engagement. Uh, I do. Huh. Um, the current the suit I'm wearing right now adds plus five to speech anyway, so I'm not quite sure. Um, if I'm wearing that, I can talk to people and sort of convince them. But um, let's just max out 
the speed skill completely. And then just spend the last few things while, I don't know. Getting signs to 75 and, uh. Well. Small guns is actually very useful for trying to uh, disarm people. So I'm going to go with that. And for shooting robots and stuff like that. And what perk to pick? Um, I want, I want, I want this. It sounds odd for um, it so definitely sounds odd for a uh, for pacifist to pick a, a a chance to high chance to score critical hits, but it's just very useful for, for disarming enemies. Um, critical hits on their weaponry and they will be unarmed suddenly. Nothing else really. Fits the bill quite as much. So I'm gonna pick Finesse. Excellent. And now I am carrying way too much stuff. Way too much stuff! <laughs> uh, oh, that power armor stuff is heavy. Um. Okay, I think I'm carrying an Enclave Power Helmet. Let's lose that. Because it's nowhere near as useful as the Power... The Brother of the Steel Power... Armor Power Helmet. Actually, if I put on the Power Armor, it's going to increase my strength. Which means, so long as I am carrying that, I can actually carry a bit more. Problem is, if I want to return to some more sneaky armor, it also messes up my agility. Which means my sneak skill is not quite... Well, it's actually still at 100. <laughs> so, I, I'll, I'll try that. Um, radiation suit always possibly useful. Reckon armor with sneak and, and armor is useful. I think I'm going to need to lose this combat armor. Strong though it is. Well, it's much the same as the Reckon armor really. But it's heavier and does not have anything to sneak. Um, and I'm kind of carrying a bit too much in terms of weapons for a pacifist, to be honest. Uh, I'll lose this assault rifle. And... Hunting rifle is really nice for, like, snake shots. Combat shotgun. Um, What I want with a knife when I've got a combat knife. That's for press situations against uh, animals, really. Plasma rifle. Well, the ways a rifle is nice, but doesn't hit as hard as the plasma rifle. It's cute though, when it's in better condition, but... I think it's gonna have to go. I wanna have, you know, something for different kinds of ammunition to, to work with. Um, what do I want with a 10 millimeter pistol? That is absolutely pointless. Submachine gun, or oh, let's me use 10 millimeter ammunition, I suppose. Actually, with all that, I can wear the Reckon armor and still, you know, get around. This is massively better for damage resistance, though, so we'll try this. 
Uh, weapons wise, uh, I like the hunting rifle. Oh, damage uh, on those things is also decreased. A bit. I mean, the assault rifle is nice as well, but it doesn't have the accuracy. So I think I'm gonna keep carrying the hunting rifle. And the Reckon Armor for now. Are you ready now? We can't afford to keep standing around. Alright, alright, I'm ready. Okay, don't be nervous. You'll have the whole pride backing you up, not to mention this giant tin can. Just stay safe until we reach the purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. And don't let that thing step on you. You mean that thing? Okay. We're going to go over it one more time. The pride is on me. The goal is Project Purity, but we can't get into the facility with those energy fields up. Rothschild and Lee say this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to move quickly before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Pride, move out. And here they are firing up the big robot thing. And uh, basically, uh, our pacifist is just too stunned to be able to move right now. <laughs> Okay, we've got movement again. We've got to follow the robot as he makes his way to the purifier. Uh, and Fox, you're in everybody's way. <laughs> Come on, Fox. You're with us. Nice to see this Brotherhood of Steel aren't, you know, prejudiced or anything. Uh, <laughs> they're not reacting to a big mutant blocking their way, <laughs> to be honest. Um, they're just moving out. Yep, I'm moving a lot faster than them because I'm in wrecking armor. And there you see the robot being sort of towed off. We're still in, in Brotherhood territory, so. I'm a lot slower in power armor. Wonder how much damage. That energy thing would actually do plasma rifle 21. So right now that does more damage than the hunting rifle. But I think I have some perks. I help with small. Yeah, like exactly. I'm a much more accurate in vents with small arms. Don't know if the assault rifle is almost as good. But, yeah, not sure about that, but I'm going to try whatever. Um, where's the exit from this place? Oh, it's over here. I still have a sneak skill of 100, so I'm kind of hoping when we're moving out, I'll be able to. Stay undetected. Wow, but I'm lagging behind way too much. That's not good. I need lighter armor. Because my plan as a pacifist is going to obviously be trying to disarm whatever enemies we I can see. So hopefully, you know. have the sense to run when they don't have weapons. Well, they're firing like crazy, but I've no idea on what. I would have liked, you know, one of them 
sniper rifles might have been good, but oh, uh, there's, there's no way they're not going to see me here. I mean, all the other Brotherhood of Steel pride people are, are here, so obviously we're going to Titanium alloy supplemented by photonic. Oh no. Oh, the Brotherhood of Steel Paladin went down. Ooh. I shouldn't have said that stuff about the sniper rifle. <laughs> Should probably pick up the hollow tag as well, bring it back. Or maybe somebody else is really more likely to be able to actually bring it back. Five out of forty eight. I don't know what kind of ammunition it really uses, but I can't see any enemies to actually fire on anywhere, it's just a huge bit. Or you will be that huge robot just wipes everything out. Red victory. Ouch! Impossible. We're being bombed though. I'm still hidden somehow. Yes, it's those big chopper thingies. Yeah. They're bad. Bad news. Hey guys, let's keep moving. You don't want to stay around to get bombed anymore, do you? Let's let's follow the robot. Communism is a lie. Oh, I'm detected. I don't like being detected. I prefer to be hidden. I don't know who detects me either. Well, they're actually enclave troops here, aren't they? Communism is the very definition of yeah, that's an enclave soldier. Poor guy. Failure. I wonder if I can actually... No, I have no use for that laser rifle. Plasma rifle I could use and try and repair the one I've already got. But I'm detected anyway, let's just try and stay in cover if we can. To arms, brother, to arms. Guys, let's keep moving! Didn't you talk about, you know, fire support trying to keep make sure nobody messes with the robot, then we should probably follow the robot, shouldn't we? Come on guys, why am I leading the attack here? I'm a pacifist. Okay. Okay, that's an enclave soldier with a massive weapon, a missile launcher, that's bad. I want to try and make sure he can't... He's got a plasma rifle, that's bad news too, but this... Oh, for heaven's sakes! Okay, I think he fell down or something. Actually, I think the robot is making absolutely short work of him. We basically have to keep up, guys. Seriously. We're supposed to provide fire support. We can't do that from that far away. Come on! Let's go! He's single-handedly wiping out the entire enclave. Oh, there's a dead paladin as well. Okay, I don't know why I picked up the missile launcher. That's pointless. Okay. Caution, there's apparently... Enemies somewhere over here. Yep. 
Somebody duck down over there. I don't actually want to... Oh. My, this is bad. There he is. Let's see if we can try and disarm him. That was a mess. Try again. Oh, it's not working. Ow! Something tells me I'm not... This is... Yeah! Ouch. No, I don't have enough AP for that. Um, I'm going to need to... Let these things restore a little bit of AP. Hit him, but didn't disarm him, unfortunately. Oh. Nope, that's not working. Take cover. Well, Fox is proving very <laughs> effective, but what the heck? Is the Brotherhood of Steel? Are they all completely knocked down? Okay. Ha -ha! I found you. Yeah. Yep. Fox is taking them down. Oh, come on! He's just. Hiding in the corner. Let him stay there. He's... Come on, Fox! He's, he doesn't have any weapons. Heaven's sakes. Okay, this has been extremely bloody business. I don't like this very much. But... I certainly don't think I've killed anyone. Nope. So I'm clear soldiers are getting it, but so is the um, Paladin of the Brotherhood of Steel. And where the heck is that robot? No, there he is. I think I prefer the hunting rifle. It takes fewer action points to fire that thing than the sniper rifle. Yep, the robot is basically <laughs> wiping out everything. Come on, guys. Significant obstruction detected. Composition titanium alloy supplemented by enhanced photonic resonance barrier. Established strategy inadequate. Initiate photonic resonance overcharge. Well, we got the barrier down. I think it's time for a bit of a save here. We survived so far, somehow. And the quest added project impurity? What's that all about? Oh yeah, we could infect the Project Purity Water Supply. No, we can't, because we've actually given away the virus. Don't we? Well, the barrier's down. There's Sentinel Lions. What about the rest of the team? Where did they go? Are they? Is there some kind of ambush over there or something, and they all fell down? There are more friendlies here, but I can only see... Oh god. Don't like that sound. I know what it means. That's Enclave Choppers 
coming in, isn't it? And we seem to be reduced to the... Yup! There's stuff. There's enemies over there, apparently. The robot's attacking. Communist target acquired. Hello, that's a plasma rifle. Plasma rifle I do have. Could use some repairs. Well, okay. Oh, they're up there. Thirty-seven, twenty. I'm wondering. Let's say I change to recon armor. Oh, then I can't run. What did I pick up that was so heavy now? I don't know. Oh, of course, there was a sniper rifle, obviously. Right. Oh, and I'm carrying two plasma rif rifles? I thought... I thought I used one for repairs. That's better. Now, let's see. Oh, there's an officer over there as well. But if I were to... Hey! That officer is not actually hostile, is he? Oh yeah, he is now. Okay. He's disarmed, now run! Run! Yeah! Didn't help much. He's got too much firepower on our team. <laughs> I still have... Okay. Finally. Okay. They're up there. Well, I could try and disarm him, but he's so soon dead. He's... How much is he? No, he went down. Look, guys. Stop messing around. We just need to get in here. detected. We don't actually have to wipe out the entire enclave. We just need to get into the place. Yeah, and I've got a feeling that our robot friend's not going to be able to get through this little door here. Okay. <laughs> So we're inside, we've got set of lions and fox, and a fox isn't exactly sneaking, which is bad. In fact, fox. Have you seen the lights of pacifism? Something troubling you, my friend. I'm wondering if you've seen the enlightenment of pacifism, because I don't see your weapon anywhere. Yes, by all means, let's. Yes, the unpleasant necessities of battle. Uh, I want you to change your combat style, actually. In what way? Well, where is the option to tell them to just try and hide or something? Let's talk about something else. Gladly. No. Okay, I need you along with me, Fox, so we don't have to keep going. And I shall follow. So I'm trying to sneak down here. And I see there's a red dot breaking over in that direction. I'm thinking, even when I'm wearing power armor, my snake skill still a hundred. My speech skill still still skill is still a hundred. So, okay, let's try and stick to the shadows if we can. Oh, 
That is definitely a bunch of Enclave soldiers, and that is the direction we need to go, I think. Yeah. Just some more of it. We need to get through there and left. Ah. Is there another way around? Doesn't appear that way. That'll take us to the pump control. Let's hope. Oh, damn it! They have to get into a fight, do they? Okay, tell you what, I need to get, look, all this violence, let me just get, I just want to get to where I need to go, let's just get through this door over here. You again. Oops. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. Look, Colonel Autumn, why don't you just give it up? You know you've lost. I beg to differ. The Enclave is at the height of its power. Once this facility is operational, the masses will flock to the Enclave for fresh water, protection, and a plan for the future. Look, why are you doing all this? Why do you give your allegiance to a machine? Because, you know, President Eden? Computer! I am sworn to protect the presidency. The chain of command must be upheld. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Well, fortunately, uh, I'm <laughs> as a best as I have the intelligence apparently to try and reason with you. Because the thing is, Eden's not really a president. Because you know he, he was never elected, and he's actually not even human. And your point. Well, my point is, what gives you the legitimacy to rule? Nothing. I see. And what of the chain of command? When the Enclave fell on the west coast, Eden was next in line for leadership. But he's not human. He just took control. It was never given to him. Yes. You're right. I had not considered it from that viewpoint. But then, where does that leave me? You know what? J just walk away, okay? Just spin enough bloodshed. Chad, it's not late to just back off. And you? You would just let me leave? How can I be sure you won't just shoot me once I turn my back on you? I suppose it doesn't matter much now. Very well. I shall leave you to your fate. Watch your spacing. Stop! Stop shooting, guys! Stop! Go. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Look, these, he's given the order from them to back off. You don't have to keep shooting. Seriously, guys. I think, <laughs> I think the firing sound just crashed on us here. Yeah, because they're not actually shooting. It's just... Look, just back off, guys. <laughs> Heavens. I'm gonna try a save reload just to see if I can get rid of that horrible music. Horrible, horrible sound. Well, the Watch game the doesn't seem to like my pacifism. It's really upset. It keeps bugging out. There are enough bugs to start an ant farm. What have you got on your mind? Nothing. I wanted to talk to no. the paladin person's sister, Steel Lions character, but she's too no. busy no. worrying about fighting. Apparently, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that you just let him walk away. Finally, it's amazing the world hasn't beaten that out of you. Yep, pacifist. You just better hope it doesn't come back to bite you. Pacifist well, might. Let's get this place locked down. The Enclave people are 
Run away. Dr. Lee, it's Sarah Lyons. I'm in the control room. We're both here. What's going on? I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tanks. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. Oh. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now. If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? No, 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 no. There's got to be some way. I wish that were true. Really, I do. But you heard Dr. Lee. We have to do this right now. Or who knows how bad it'll be. Yeah? One of us has to go in there. You know, there aren't just two of us up here. There's also forks. If that's how you want to do this, fine. But be quick about it. Because, folks, yeah. you're actually immune to radiation, aren't you? Mm. This is a dire predicament. Look, folks, I need you to try to stop the purifier. The code is 216. Ah, of course. <laughs> My immunity to radiation makes me a far better candidate for surviving in there. I would say that your destiny lies within that chamber, but you have already altered mine. The least I can do is return the favor, cycle the airlock, and we'll put an end to this. Right, so I need to press this key so we can actually get in. And ouch, I'm taking radiation. Ow! I want to back off, but I'm stuck. <laughs> well, let's just look at Fox. If you're still there, the purifier needs to be activated now. You don't have much time left. Well, he Fox looks like he's trying to. Hit the controls, and then he's scratching his head. I hope he remembers the code. Whoa. Okay, Fox. You did something. That's for sure. There's a lot of radiation in there, but... You look no more really upset than usual. <laughs> He's kicking the darn thing. Stop, you say. Fire up, goddammit. And... Cutscene? Yeah. And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child, selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials uh. and trials. And pacifism. It was not until the end of this long road that the lone wanderer was faced with that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. But the child refused to follow the father's selfless example. Instead, allowing a true hero to venture into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity. 
Yeah, someone who can actually survive it. Why kill myself when... Thankfully, Fox when selected survives. by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. Which means, I guess, that if I had poisoned the waters, I probably would have killed the humans. So ends the, the humans. story of the lone wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close. For the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. Which is why we need pacifism. <laughs> now, let's see. I've got the Broken Steel expansion installed. But it's not doing anything, is it? Nope. Our pacifist and sentinel lions are just stuck here outside of the project purity control room. And Fox is still in there, apparently unharmed by the radiation. And that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stuff happening, stuff happening. Boom, boom. But still nothing's okay. Still I can't move. Broken steel is not starting. <laughs> Somehow... Yeah, that's what happens when you play a pacifist in the game. Uh, it's doable, but karma will kick you with bugs, apparently. <laughs> doesn't doesn't b b really bother me. Um, I don't think the Broken Steel expansion, which is really supposed to kick in now, would really be anything for our pacifist anyway. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit annoying that I can't actually start it, start it since, you know, I've paid for the game with the edition and stuff. Because um, Probably the real reason for that is it's got to have something to do with some mod or other. I mean, I've, I've hardly any mods installed now apart from the official expansion, expansions, but I guess the ones I have had earlier must have just messed up something somewhere in the game or, or the save game or whatever. Uh, but it doesn't really bother me. I think this is just. This is a fitting ending point for the series anyway. Um, it certainly shows you can go through the game. Semi-pacifist at least. I mean, I have killed creatures. I have killed a few mutants. Um, my pacifist does not feel good about that. Especially since the real hero here in the, in the end is... Fox is a mutant. Which, you know, goes to show... Yeah. Be nice to your mutants this Christmas. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, we tried. Once my pacifist realized how some mutants really have a lot of intelligence. But we tried, certainly. And it's not really my fault that everybody else is so violent. It's a violent world. And we got to the end of the main quest. So I'll count that as success. And this has been a, obviously a very long video, but um, I think I think I think I like my last videos to be long because it's sort of um, this is obviously the last video in the series, and it gives you time to sort of finish up properly. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed the ride half as much as I have enjoyed recording this stuff, um, despite bugs <laughs> and so on. Uh, in all fairness, I think. The bugs may have really helped me out at one earlier point with some, some really tough enemies that didn't aggro, so maybe this is sort of karma that it needs to, that it crashes out now completely. Um, but, yeah, I'm happy, and I 
hope that you will join me for some other Let's Plays later on, because this Let's Play is obviously clearly over. Friendly Nick is basically so um, stunned by everything that's happened that he just cannot move from the spot, apparently. So, <laughs> maybe you'll join me for some other series later on? Uh, if not, that, that's fine. I, I don't have an awful lot of time to actually record these days. Uh, there may be a separate video on that uh, later at some point. But for now, uh, I says signing off, and uh, until some later point, uh, go in peace, and uh, live and let live. <laughs>